Hi movie lovers. Warm welcome to movie cinema recap here. Stay tuned for the movie. This movie tells the story of a high school girl named Setoka Tachibana who has confessed her love to many boys but is always rejected. Setoka is a beautiful girl so boys around her always try to approach her. There is no exception for a boy named Suzuki, a school friend of Setoka. Suzuki openly expresses his love for Setoka on the bus although previously he had rejected Setoka who confessed her love for him. When Suzuki tries to ask Setoka out on a date, the bus suddenly moves unsteadily, causing Setoka and the other passengers to panic. While looking outside to find out what happened, Setoka saw her brother, Haruka Tachibana, kicking the bus while riding his bicycle. Luckily, no one was injured in the Arriving at school, Haruka then warns Suzuki not to approach Setoka anymore. According to Haruka, Suzuki doesn't deserve to be with his sister after rejecting Setoka some time ago. Meanwhile, Setoka is visited by two boys who also express their love for her at school. They are Chiki Miyoka, a young man who always plays with women's feelings, and Takane Serikawa, Setoka's first love who also rejected Setoka's declaration of love some time ago. Chiki and Takane seem to openly approach Setoka with their respective styles, where Chiki is always romantic and says sweet words. At the same time, Takane is always cool and tries to impress Setoka with his good looks and wealth. Not only Chiki and Takane, but Setoka apparently also made an apprentice teacher named Yatta Sinzi fall in love with her. However, the possessive Haruka always appears there and tries to keep Setoka away from the boys who try to approach her because Haruka doesn't want his sister to be close to other boys. Haruka will beat up anyone who dares to disturb Setoka. Even he firmly says that no one can make Setoka cry but himself. One day, Setoka and Haruka plan to go to a fireworks festival. On the way, they meet Takane and Chiki who are also about to head to the festival. The three of them then do a lottery to determine who will accompany Setoka during the festival. Chiki got the first turn, Takane got the second turn, while Haruka was forced to give in and got the last turn. Chiki and Setoka seem to enjoy their company by participating in some games at the festival. Meanwhile, Takane invites Setoka to pray at the temple and after that he kisses Setoka. Haruka who saw their togetherness seemed to hold back his anger and jealousy because he actually really loved Setoka. Haruka turns out to have known that Setoka is not his biological sister and chooses to keep it a secret from her because he doesn't want to make her sad. As Setoka descended the shrine steps, she suddenly slipped and fell. Haruka swiftly saves Setoka and ignores his injured hand from the incident. Haruka was immediately taken to the hospital for treatment. Not long after, Chiki came there to ask them how they were. Setoka then asked Haruka's permission to discuss something important with Chiki alone, to which Haruka agreed. Setoka apparently asked Chiki not to approach her anymore because she had made her choice on Takane. Chiki suddenly looked gloomy when Setoka said this. Although feeling sad and disappointed, Chiki accepts Setoka's decision and choice with grace, trying to let her go. While at home, Setoka tries to help Haruka while taking a shower because Haruka's hand has not fully recovered. After finishing, Haruka suddenly hugged Setoka from behind and told her not to go on a date with Takane. Hearing this, Setoka was silent. Setoka's feelings became mixed when her brother hugged her. However, she tries to dismiss these feelings because she thinks they're siblings. The next day, Takane comes to Setoka's school in a luxury car to ask her out on a date. Everyone seems impressed by Takane's good looks and wealth, except for Haruka who looks annoyed and jealous. Haruka then warns Takane to always take care of Setoka and not make her cry. Takane then agreed. For their first date this time, Takane invites Setoka to dinner at a restaurant. 
However, Setoka doesn't seem comfortable there. On the other hand, Haruka looks aloof and considers that from now on, he will try to forget Setoka and give up the girl if she prefers to date Takane. After dinner, Takane took Setoka for a walk to enjoy the beautiful scenery at night. Takane intends to make love to Setoka in the car, but Setoka immediately refuses because she feels that she is not ready to do that with Takane. Because he got rejected, Takane was irritated and revealed a secret to Setoka, namely about Setoka who is not the biological child of the Tachibana family. Setoka was adopted by the Tachibana family when she was one year old. Hearing this fact, Setoka immediately felt shocked and rushed home with tears in her eyes. Setoka then meets with Haruka and demands an explanation from him about her not being his younger sister. Haruka then confirmed Takane's words with a heavy heart and told her everything. Haruka also only found out about this fact not too long ago. Haruka then tells Setoka that his family will still love her no matter what happens. Setoka will always be part of the Tachibana family and will never change. However, Setoka still feels shocked and devastated because she is an orphan who has no family or relatives. The next day, Setoka looks gloomy and dreamy at school when her teacher announces something in front of the class. As it turned out, Yatka Sinzi's tenure as an apprentice teacher at Setoka's school would end on that day. After conveying this, Yatka Sinzi then approached Setoka and said that from now on they were no longer tied to a teacher-student relationship, so he then intended to openly approach her and try to persuade her to want to date him. But Setoka didn't care about his words because what was on her mind right now was Haruka. Setoka suddenly remembers the moments she and Haruka had together when they were little and realizes that her feelings for Haruka are not sibling affection. After that, Setoka was seen riding her bicycle at high speed, trying to find Haruka's whereabouts. On the way, Setoka recalls every moment of her togetherness with Haruka and realizes that Haruka must also harbor the same feelings as her. Hence, he is always possessive and protective of her. Setoka finally discovers the whereabouts of Haruka who is having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Takane in a church. The two young men were discussing their respective feelings towards Setoka. Realizing Setoka's presence there, Takane then asked her to come out of her hiding place. Setoka then apologizes to Takane for abandoning him while they are dating. Setoka revealed that she was still unsure of her feelings at that time. Takane seemed to understand and convinced Setoka to listen to her heart and not have to hide it anymore. Takane then tells Setoka that he can't have a romantic relationship with a girl who doesn't really love him. He finally gave up Setoka and advised Haruka always to take care of Setoka and never make her sad. After Takane left, Setoka then confessed her love for Haruka. However, Haruka thinks that Setoka loves him only as a brother, not a romantic feeling between a man and a woman. Setoka then tries to convince Haruka that she really loves him as a girl who falls in love with the boy of her dreams and really wants to date him. Hearing this, Haruka felt very happy and hugged Setoka tightly. Setoka and Haruka are finally officially dating and kissing for the first time. Long story short, Haruka and Setoka then ventured to tell their parents about their love affair. Their parents initially seemed surprised when they found out that Haruka and Setoka were dating. But apparently, their parents were not angry at all and approved of their relationship. Even their parents have discussed about their marriage which might happen soon. Setoka and Haruka then feel very happy because their parents approve of their relationship and have planned for their future. One day, while walking together, Haruka reminisced about the past when he promised that he would marry Setoka one day. But Setoka doesn't remember the promise, so Haruka looks disappointed because Setoka forgot that beautiful moment. Feeling guilty, Setoka kisses Haruka passionately, and in that's movie ends. 
The moral we can learn from this film is don't expect too much to chase love that we are not sure to get, and try to observe the circumstances around us because who knows, our true love has been near us all this time, and we haven't realized it. I made videos of film for all of you after lots of research. Your support is important for us. Thank you for watching.